Hey everybody, welcome back to days five and six of Mirror Scrapbook Room and our final episode. Um, and I just wanted to remind you of where we started. So this was day one and we have come a long way. Uh, but I was a little late getting there on day five because um, a lovely lady named Marie donated a, a bunch of storage bins that uh, she knew that I was looking for some clear storage and wanted to donate these. So uh, thank you, Marie. And also Jane, she was another one of my clients who um, had some extra clear containers and um, said, I'm not using them, you can you can take these. So thank you guys, that was very helpful. Um, and these are just some of the boxes of things that Mira had all ready to sell that she's getting rid of. Um, so it's exciting to see all of this stuff leaving the scrapbook room. And then I just had to show you how I was greeted by Colt on day five. He was so wound up already. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Are you gonna get it? Go get it. <laughs> and then he did a little mountain climbing as well. I have no idea, but wow, you are more a cat than a dog. <laughs> I swear he is. Oh, and here's Mira sorting out her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> there went some cards, some pepper sticks and cards. Oh, what are you trying to get to up there? What's some... up there? What's... Oh, the treats. That's why. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, you yeah. keep trying. Okay, let's get down to business, starting with what Mira is working on. Big sorting station. <laughs> <laughs> Categories for everything. Yep. Everything that I don't know the name of that I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that actually I don't know what what are those ones? Just these stickers. Puffy stickers. Puffy stickers. And so these are these are all stickers? regular stickers. Okay. So you, this is just dog stuff. Yeah. Dog food stuff. Got some doilies. What are these called? These are pocket page cards. Okay. So these, these are going to be consolidated into that. Oh, this is the same thing as this? Yeah. Okay. And we've got our pins. Yeah. Is that what you okay. got some pins. Oh, pins and... And some cork board. Or, yeah, cork. Okay. Not cork board. Cork. Cork. So that would be... Would those be actually separated once we get down to the microorganizing? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just put them in because I knew I wouldn't come across... A huge number of either one. Yeah. So I thought those can those can bond for now. We got finished pages. These are all letters in there that I'm gonna put up in that thing. So anyway, lots to do. <laughs> So after Mary has sorted out a good pile of some of those keep items, um, I'm taking those piles and trying to match them up with some of the containers that I got to try to find a good home uh, that will fit those kept items. these into different sizes. Does that work for you? The ones that yep. like are smaller and, and bigger ones. Oh, I need to put this here so people can see me doing this. <laughs> oh. Right. Are very desperate, sir. He's like, he doesn't baby. me. <laughs> Cup abuse going on here. What is this thing? So the stuff I'm sorting out right here, Mira just calls uh, her dimensional embellishments. Uh, and this was not their permanent home. This is what worked for. Uh, 
now <laughs> until we got a bigger pile of them. And then um, I think I ended up transferring them into a larger container. Okay, you wanna see about 20,000 decisions in 20 seconds? Well, here you go. <laughs> And I know she mentioned that she was a little disappointed that she wasn't able to get through more boxes before I got back there. But I was so proud of all of the stuff that she was able to get through. I mean, this is pretty taxing on the brain. It really is. Good grief, sir. I wonder what your room is like. Jesus. Didn't you say you were going to go or get together with them at some yeah. point? Yeah. That was probably kind of hard to understand because of the mask muffling it, but she's talking about getting Colt together with his brother. Calling that bling. <laughs> oh, well, is that stuff that's already been, it was just over here, but I'm assuming, yeah. like, is most of that stuff you're going to keep probably? I it's... think I'll leave some of it out. Yeah. Hopefully. Did you say wing some of it out? Weed. Oh, weed. Okay. I thought you were just going to be like, <laughs> winging it. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring it on out of here. Just open the, yeah. open the window, window and I'll just throw it right out. Yeah, we should just put the recycling bin right outside this window. And we'll just... Right. Just bring it on out. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the third time I got... Hold carefully. Oh, I can't believe I can't just hold on to that. Let's see what other those like to just add a little. Yeah. Bling. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do yeah. Okay. Are they? I have a bunch. Okay. So we'll come across uh -huh. this at some point. I'll just. Since it's such a small cap bar right now. I'll just put it there. But do you keep it with like the just other? Ink pads, or is that totally like a separate um, type of thing? I haven't been. Okay, they can keep them separate. Maybe they could go there, like on the bottom or in there somewhere. I don't know. Oh, because you're getting gonna... this out? Yeah. Oh, okay. And is there a rhyme or reason to how you want these? Just by size? Or yeah. is there like. Size is fine, yeah. Okay. Most of them are the, the very you can always, If that doesn't work, I can always figure out what does work later yeah and with the um rings did you do that or what did, is that how you buy them um i just bought a bunch of jump rings so and you and then you categorized them yeah with it. see that's smart i would have yeah. never even thought of something like that but i i like that to keep them yeah. all together it works pretty well for me because then i don't lose them <laughs> so yeah much. and you can flip to the one you want yeah. take it out and just reclip it so that it's not yeah yeah they still all stay together i like it I can feel your energy waning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, do I need to not try it at all? I think so. Yeah. Should we order some? Yeah. Because, yeah. All right. You're on the video there, Colt. <laughs> you're in trouble now. Mm, gotcha. You want to have a camera? That Colt man, he is something else. <laughs> Let me tell you. In fact, this whole series, I swear, has been just the cult show, and Mira and I are just lucky to be part of it. Um, in fact, there's a part coming up a little bit later that was so funny, you'll die. Um, anyway, this is after lunch now. Mira is taking her nap, so this is when I like to see just how much I can get done before she wakes up. Um, and I saw this pile of bags, and even though it probably could have just remained like this and it would have been just fine, um, the laundry nerd in me wanted to fold this all and make it super neat. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a dork. But then it also ended up being more than just bags in there. There were all kinds of tools and other random miscellaneous things so I was glad I went through it because um, that does not belong in the bag of bags.
So I came across a few of these um, really cool craft tote type of storage um, bags, <laughs> I guess, and uh, with nothing in them. So I think they should probably be used. Otherwise, they're just taking up space. But <laughs> then I started thinking, I actually have a whole lot of bags like this that I don't use. They're kind of like boxes where it's like, you know, they're useful, but unless you're actually using them, are they useful or are they just taking up space? How many of you guys have some of these bags kicking around your house that you think, I can't get rid of them because they're useful, but then you never actually think to use them. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna get real with myself when I do some more decluttering and get rid of some of those bags because I just don't ever actually think to use them when it comes down to it. So why am I letting them take up real estate in my house? I don't know. Anyway, that is my deep thought for the day. So you guys, let's get rid of those bags. Be honest with ourselves, we're never gonna use them. Anyway, here's just a little before and after of that pile of bags. Looks so much better. So every time I show an overview of the room like this in um, a time lapse, you guys are probably thinking, didn't we already see this? Because it looks like you're just shifting stuff around again. And in truth, I am. <laughs> but it's not shifting stuff around just to shift stuff around. Uh, these the piles get a little smaller every time, a little tidier every time. Um, I mean, in an ideal world, we would have a whole other space that we just set out boxes or totes with labels on it for like, this is for die cuts, this is for stencils, this is for stamps. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not that simple when you don't have all the room in the world. And speaking of room, I'm trying to create more room here by getting rid of some of these boxes, breaking them down. Um, but anyway, it's it, you're, you're discovering new categories as you're going through things. And so you're trying to find the best home for them. And then you find more of that item. And so you have to shift those into another container. And it's a little tricky because Yes, there there are times that I'm like, seriously, are we ever going to be done shifting stuff around? But um, I mean, it's just it's an ongoing process to really get this micro organized. And spoiler alert, we did not finish. We probably aren't even close to finish, but at least we accomplished our main goal, which was to create space for her to do her scrapbooking and to make things more accessible. So now she has a better idea of the things that she has. And yes, she still has a lot that she needs to declutter and get rid of, but uh, she has a better handle on things and can actually be creative in this space now and not have to use her kitchen table to take everything to because um, she didn't have room in here before. This is just some all-purpose cleaner and I didn't want to spray it directly on the table at first because it was kind of dusty and I didn't want to just make all that dust go flying everywhere. I have to say that I'm a little sad that this series is almost over. Well, it is over after this one because I was looking forward to this scrapbooking room for so long that um, it's just a little sad that it's over. I mean, I know it's not really, really over because there's always more to do. And I'm sure I'll be up at Mira's um, quite a lot to help her in other areas. And we'll probably revisit the scrapbook room at some point um, after she's decluttered some more and uh, maybe get some really good labels on things. And I know she even ordered some really cute labels to put on her like not clear storage bins. So 
can't wait to see those attached. So you'll probably have to watch her channel to see them all labeled. Waiting for Mara to wake up so that I can hang these over there, but I don't want to do it while she's sleeping. Okay, if I remember right, these are like refill cartridges for a craft tape dispenser, I think. <laughs> Um, and they were taking up some prime real estate on her desk in her little organizing caddy thing. So uh, we just moved them elsewhere so that she could put something that she needs a little more accessible right there on her desk. Okay, so Mara's awake from her nap and I am setting up a sorting station around her. Um, one of my favorite things in this room was this little rolling caddy because it was easy just to move wherever we needed it to have all of the things that she was um, sorting into the different categories wherever she needed it. Okay, it's time to hang some stuff up <laughs> because there's a lot of this stuff that really just needs to go on a wall because it's taking up um, other space that it doesn't need to if it can hang on a wall so I love using wall space for things like this and these little um, tins <laughs> I guess you would call them the little magnetic tins with the flowers in them are so cute I love 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 this even just even if she didn't ever use the flowers in them just as a decoration it's just beautiful the camera angle on this makes those look really crooked I promise they're not I did use a level <laughs> and then here's that whole thing again just in a really really quick time lapse <laughs> Okay, now we're going to hang up some uh, display shelves. I don't know what else to call them. They're just little, yeah, these things, whatever they are. But it's for her uh, scrapbook pages that she wants to display. So super cute. I also had a lot of fun editing this part. <laughs> should have put them a little further apart but I guess that works so no, that works. okay as we wind down this fifth day will you guys do a favor for me and go subscribe if you haven't and if you have been subscribed in the past um will you check and make sure you still are subscribed because I've had a few people mention that they have been unsubscribed somehow and have had to resubscribe so just check that make sure you're still subscribed and also hit the notification button because that way you get my community posts as well and sometimes those are important or at least I think they are so <laughs> hey guys we're calling this our soft after <laughs> there's Mara still sorting all of this stuff so she's got this box to go through but I will show you all the stuff that she has gotten rid of on her table it's crazy the amount of stuff she's gotten rid of so anyway she's still busy sorting so I'm gonna be back next week after she sorted out some more and we're gonna get this even more organized but it's looking pretty good we got lots of floor space there's clay, clay. <laughs> look at all that I'm floor so space <laughs> oh, it's awesome. so awesome and she's got a place to work at her desk oh gotta get the water bottles there we go. See, you're not out. You've got those water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're pretty stale, though, by now, unfortunately. <laughs> 
here's everything that's going. Those boxes. Oh, sorry guys. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, here we are. It's the final day. Um, and I know some of you have already seen the after pictures because you've watched Mira's version of this, but still stick around. It's, it's still going to be amazing again. <laughs> I noticed you had two of these. Are you like just keeping one and getting rid of the other? Or are yeah. there, there, okay. I just didn't know if there were maybe two others that no. <laughs> I saw. Okay. No. If you're thinking right now that you missed a live, <laughs> don't worry, you didn't, unless you were a member, because it was a members only live. And so if you're into like awkward conversations with me, <laughs> join as a member and maybe you can join our awkward conversations because yeah, I'm still not very comfortable doing lives. It's just awkward, but I'll get there. <laughs> That looks like a Sizzix that it goes to, but it's not a Sizzix, right? Well, it will work with the Sizzix. It will. Though. Okay. Oh, and no, you are not imagining things. You are hearing a smoke alarm going off or the little beeping in the background. So at lunchtime, I did run over to Walmart and grabbed some batteries so that that would stop. <laughs> Did that go on this? I don't, I don't know. Is that just to like um, smudge things or? Yeah, you can sand things and yeah. create kind of distressed edges with it. Oh, gotcha. Um, uh, you can just put it on the table. I actually have a spot. I'm gonna little cubbies over there that has a. Okay. I'm gonna put that with the others. There's a couple different kinds of embossing, right? I mean, there's the embossing yeah. with the heat tool, mm -hmm. and then there's embossing like the like a the press texture or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, it does say template. <laughs> but like, do you want these kinds separate though? Like from the because they're so versus so like the. I mean, I guess we can. Let's put them all right together there. for now. Okay. Okay. So some of the categories that we've got here um, are stencils, which you already heard me talk about, um, and then die cuts, and that's for like a Sizzix, if you know what that is. It's just it just cuts out shapes basically. Uh, and then behind me, there are tools like glue guns and cutting mats and rulers and um, can't think of what else. But um, stamps is another one that I had here. And then uh, paint stuff like watercolors is in that green box. So yeah, those were just some of the categories. That, that was just a whole pile of keep stuff that I had sorted out for her. Okay, let's get a little more light in here. 
<laughs> I have an issue with dim rooms. And it's funny because I know a lot of autistic people have issues with bright lights. That is not me. I love, love, love a bright room. And I change light bulbs all the time when I go into other people's homes to clean because it's amazing to me how many are burned out. And for some reason, I just can't work in a dim room. I think every time I walked into here, even though there's, I mean, the sunlight coming in, I was still like, it's too dim. It's too dim. We need more light. And I didn't even notice that there was a light bulb burned out until this last day. <laughs> so I finally changed that. Now it's a little brighter. I do the same thing when I'm cleaning at my own house, especially when I'm sweeping and mopping. I have to have like every single light on to do that. And yeah, go ahead and shame me for wasting electricity. I just, I, I cannot handle a dim room. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, we are going to take this stack of beautiful paper and turn it vertical because you know how much I love vertical organizing. It's just so much easier to pull out what you need than to remove a whole stack of things to get down to the things you need and then replace them. I've had a few people comment, um, and I know Mira has as well, about how much money she has spent on this stuff and how much money is wasted and this is so excessive, etc. But um, I just want to say, remember, this is over like 30 years. Uh, she doesn't have kids and she, it, her dogs and hobbies are her kids. So that's what she spends her money on. and. It's her money, so why are we judging what she spends her money on? I have no idea. Um, okay, here is that part with Colt that was hilarious. Is that? Oh, of course you stop now that I've got it on video. Don't worry, the audio gets better here in just a second. Oh. <laughs> I, love, I love his little sounds. But it's empty, dude. That's what you want. <laughs> I have to get this from this angle. Help me sneak around this way because this is funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he scared himself. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Do we need to put that somewhere else so it's not upsetting you? I think so. All right, I'll put it somewhere else. Oh, because, yeah, you're going to rip a hole in that. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, he's, yeah, small hole. Okay, let me just set it up here. <coughs> Sorry, my dude. You think I have something too? <laughs> Your hair. <laughs> Clay's hair is being all wonky too. Hi, buddy. You know I don't have anything, right? Yeah, I don't think Mara had a clue what she was in for when she was getting cold. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, we did figure out it was only about 20 minutes until dinner time for them. So that was a little hanger <laughs> you're witnessing there. So while Mira goes and gets them all fed, I'm going to go through this tote of keep stuff. Mostly paper, but there's some fun stuff in here. I, I like to see all of the cute paper and this chipboard is what that's called. I have learned. <laughs> um, so I thought you might enjoy this as well. Oh, 
Yeah, I was going to ask you because somebody was asking, or they were like, I can't wait until you get to the um, micro-organizing because I'm curious to know like how you would separate um, different uh, categories like by by season, by holiday, by color. I'm like, oh, I have no idea. Like, I think it probably depends on the person because yeah, there's some things so. like... I mean, it makes sense to have like all Christmas together, I think, but then there's also just like red and green stuff that you're not going to put that all with Christmas and, yeah. you know, plus you've got kind of your dog category and, yeah. but you know, you probably also have, yeah. So do you, like, do you like to have all of your dog stuff together or like whether it's stickers and chipboard and you know, all that, or do you like to keep it separate? Um, it's been an ongoing struggle <laughs> to figure out which, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think right now I would like to have the dog stuff together within its category okay so I've got like one of these sections holds some dogs holds the dog stuff okay so like dog stickers right and then you've got yeah. another like dog chipboard those are the only things I can think of right now <laughs> like stickers chipboard what else have I I'm learned actually been putting all that together <laughs> oh oh like the chipboard and everything yeah. okay this pretty paper. See, I could just make a whole video of just like flipping through these. You're like, isn't that pretty? Yeah. It is pretty. Hi. How are you doing? My husband's aunt um, used to do a little card making, but mostly she was like, I just like to have drawers full of pretty paper that I'll just go open every once in a while and look through and be like, oh, isn't that pretty? And then I don't do anything with it. <laughs> I kind of get that actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like yeah. there is something about just looking at yeah. just a pile of pretty paper or fabric or whatever it is. Yeah. Relatable, anyone? <laughs> um, I know all my quilting friends have their stashes of fabric that they just like to open that closet and admire their beautiful fabric. Um, in fact, I have been organizing my friend Tisha's uh, quilting fabric, and it's been one of the most satisfying things I've done. And I have filmed it. Um, in fact, I have so much content that I need to put out. It's not the free cleaning content, but most of it is super satisfying to watch. And I filmed some yard work yesterday. It was so nice to be outside working in the yard. So I just need to take a couple weeks and get some of that content out. And it'll be under the category for my own sanity. Oh, he just stole. Here, I'm gonna put this up here. He's trying to steal the entire glue gun in the package. Like it's huge. <laughs> Are, are you done trying? <laughs> okay, we're about to talk about Mount Doom, y'all. Um, once you get to Mount Doom, which everybody, oh yeah, in fact, this last one, they were like, hey, so what are all those boxes that I'm seeing? I'm like, how did you guys not notice that in the first one? And everybody commented on the second one. I was like, you guys didn't notice this? Um, I was like, well, that was Mount Doom. And I'm guessing, yes, yeah. I'm like, yeah, she's done that Mount Doom and it's probably going to be one that will be like last <laughs> because yeah. it's a lot of paperwork and that's where a lot of people get stuck and I don't blame them. It's yeah. hard. There's, so there are books and candles and yeah, but is it mostly paperwork or just like stuff, just miscellaneous stuff from like what, it's, childhood? It's, and... miscellaneous, it's a ton of miscellaneous stuff. Like I know there's more scrapbooking supplies. Um, which, you know, it's great because I'm running low. <laughs> <laughs> Why not start me? It's so funny. Oh, yeah. Yep, you are. <laughs> and, uh... Anybody have some extra scrapbooking supplies they want to donate to poor Mira? <laughs> Um, anyway, I hope that that answers some questions about all of the boxes that are in the room behind this. So I know it may not look like it, but this is us winding down on the last day. And so this is about seven o'clock at night and I thought, oh, well, I guess I better find some uh, shelves to put the stuff on, clear up some of this floor space. Um, and oh, and here's a new effect that I found and wanted to try out this little magnifying glass <laughs> so you can see a little better what I'm what I'm doing, what I'm putting away there. Um, and I also am going to use that magnifying glass to show you this, you know, that spot that has been blurred out 
like through all of my videos. Yeah, that's because it has um, Mira's real name on there because y'all know Mira's not her real name, right? <laughs> Um, it's not, that's her alias, but um, it did not even occur to me to turn those around until the sixth day. And it was only because we were doing the members only live. That I was like, oh yeah, we should probably hide your real name there. And so we finally used our brains and turned those around <laughs> so that we didn't have to blur it out anymore. So better late than ever, I guess. Um, anyway, let, let me just, I guess, sum up the, some of the stuff I learned here because again, I'm not a scrapbooker. I've crafted, but I obviously didn't know what a lot of this stuff was coming into this. And so I couldn't tell you, you know, the best way to categorize these things, but um, I will tell you some of my favorite things that I found. So that I already mentioned the rolling storage caddy. I think that's great so that you can, um, you know, may maybe for your projects or whatever, just sort into there what you need and roll it with you, put it back somewhere out of the way when you're done. Um, or people have mentioned using just um, a tote. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my words. It's getting to be the end of the... <laughs> the video when I start losing my words. Um, it, anyway, using a tote to just put a few items in for each project and then putting those back when you're done. Um, or those scrapbook sleeves that the little plastic, uh, like the big Ziploc bag looking things and the harder plastic ones, those are great for just the individual projects when you haven't quite finished them up, but um, just need to put them away somewhere. So she's got a lot of those. And I'm just gonna walk you through the room right here and show you some of this organization that we created. Okay, this is still stuff Mira is sorting out. Plus all of this corner. So I didn't want to ruin her sorting station. But let me show you some of the organization we have here. Got some of the magazines. These are die cuts. Those are die cuts. More magazines. We've got, um, I'm not sure what you would call these, but uh, yeah, I'll have to ask her. Um, this is like tools. Got all kinds of stickers in all of these shelves, so pretty. And then these are alphabet letters, which she is going to go through and declutter all at once, including this, that's more alphabet stuff. So like wood things, um, Christmas, Anyway, just a Christmas category. Um, paint brushes and rollers and sponges. This is embossing materials. More stickers. A lot of this we haven't really touched yet. Um, let's see. Anyway, there's her pretty clear desk. We've got, this is like memoir stuff. Um, those are pins. Right. She still needs to go through some of this stuff, but bling. All of her pretty paper that are still in the books. Um, I'm not sure what that is because she's still got to go through that. This is her chipboard. And yeah, there's lots of um, sleeves of things to uh, sort stuff into. Actually, I think, uh, yeah, those actually have packets of or things in them. And then those are all like the empty page things that you can 
sort stuff into. So anyway, there's still a lot to do, but we are going to call this good for now. Okay, here are the before and afters from day one to day six from all different angles. So much more open and spacious and just bright. What is it about a clear room that just makes it brighter? Um, and she's going to use this open floor space to sort out Mount Doom. She's got several tables she's going to set up and when she gets to that, which may be a year from now, who knows? <laughs> um, anyway, she'll use this room to sort that out. And here's one more picture from the stairs. So much open and brighter. It's beautiful. And this is just the table of stuff she's getting rid of. Okay, and this is just some bonus content. We'll call it the after party because I did end up taking some stuff home to still sort and organize for her since there was still so much left. Hi guys, welcome to the sorting of Mira's stuff. More stuff. And I wish it was more. I actually should have grabbed more while I was up there because this is just a very small amount of what still needs to get organized. But um, I also didn't know when I'd be back up there. So I just thought I would take some stuff that I knew she wouldn't really miss because it's, um, yeah, she's got a lot of this stuff. So, well, she's got a lot of everything, let's just be honest. But anyway, I figured at least a small portion of this she wouldn't miss. So. Um, yeah, I'll get it back up to her in the next three weeks or so. Tonight, we're just going to start with all of the pens and markers and writing utensils, whatever they might be. I think that's just regular pens. I don't know. Thanks. Lori, please don't start working. Sorry about my dog scratching in the background. You're probably gonna hear that a lot because it's spring and she has allergies. Golden retrievers are notorious for having allergies. And she's kind of a naughty girl because she goes and finds um, ways to eat the chicken's food, which has corn in it, and she does not do well with corn. So that's another reason she has very itchy Scratchy skin in the springtime. Oh my goodness, Lori, can you stop these? Lori, come here, can you kind of just lay down? Lay down, You're, it's very distracting. Just lay down, the itch will go away if you just ignore it. No, please don't lick things. <laughs> Does that smell like Mira's dogs? Uh -huh. Do you want to meet Colt and Clay someday? Oh, glory. All right, some of these, I'm just gonna pretend they go with this screw because it's its own thing. Okay, that's close enough. Have all the sharpies first. And pencils. I'm just gonna combine those. And the pencil. Probably not pencils. Let's speed this up a little bit. All right, I'm just doing elastics around some of the smaller categories so that they don't take up their own uh, container. So highlighters, actually these are kind of highlighters. And I know she has a million of those. So I'll use there.
Okay, I have learned that these are called pocket page cards. And she wasn't using this, so this is the perfect thing to sort this into. And I have no idea how I'm gonna sort them. Probably mostly by color, but some of these are probably gonna be hard to tell. So this is just a miniature version of my paper sorting video. <laughs> um, they're just like little scraps. So this was a little bit difficult too. The only category that was clear was clear. <laughs> That's my favorite category. Those little clear see-through ones because there's no doubt those all go together. But uh, yeah, the rest, I just did the best I could. And it does look kind of cool to watch this all come together. So while I'm sorting out the rest of this, I will tell you my big announcement. And some of you already know this because you follow Mac's channel, but we are doing another collaboration sometime mid-May and I'm super excited. Uh, we haven't figured out exact dates yet because um, I still need to get my permanent crowns in um, May 8th. And so it's gotta be sometime after that. And then before my son's graduation on the 22nd. So in between those dates sometime, we'll get together for another collaboration. And this one will be without Barbie, but we'll probably be doing another one with Barbie um, sometime in the middle of the summer. Either that or just Mac and Barbie will do their own. So don't know yet. Okay, so we've got multicolored. Um, I actually don't remember what that was. Oh, this, I don't know, more multicolored. Like browns, um, kind of just another neutrally color. Pinks, that was our blues, aqua, green, uh, red-ish, <laughs> orange-ish, and then yellow, gold. Um, those can go together, just like the some tan, clear, like a gray, and then just the other sets. Oh, put that together. So, there we have it. Okay, a variety of things. Let's see if we can figure them out. So, die cuts. Ghost sheets. But there's, they're also die cuts, so. It was indeed almost all die cuts. So I guess I accidentally grabbed um, a already sorted category, but I just put them in a little better order, I guess. And I'm just, I just wanted to show you some of the pretty ones she had. So here you go. Well, while I put this all back in a little bit tidier manner, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today and throughout this whole series of Mirror Scrapbook Room. It's been so much fun. This has been by far my favorite series I've done so far. So um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to put out next, but I've got quite a few things that I could do. So it'll be a surprise to both you and me, I guess. Anyway, thanks so much for supporting the work I do by watching and subscribing and liking these videos. I really, really appreciate you guys. Have a fantastic week. Bye now.